Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can automatically repurpose your latest TikTok videos into fresh new content on Twitter. Let's do it. All right, so we're gonna do a lot of really, really cool things in this video. I think you guys are gonna really get a lot of value out of this one, especially if you have social media clients that you're helping to automate content for. So very high level roadmap of where we're going in this video. Essentially what we're gonna be building is a bot that can automatically scrape our TikTok feeds for any new TikTok videos that we post. We're then going to download the audio from those TikTok videos into make.com via an API call. Next, we are going to use OpenAI to transcribe that audio from our TikTok video into written text so that we can then curate a custom tweet based off that transcription for automatic posting on Twitter. So the idea here is anytime we post a new TikTok video, we automatically get fresh content on Twitter with the details and the video that we posted on TikTok. Okay, so it's all gonna be automated. It's gonna be awesome. Let me stop talking. Let's get into this thing. Okay, so step number one is we need to build out a browse AI bot that can scrape our TikTok pages for any new videos that we post to our TikTok. And so in this example, I'm gonna be using Ali Abdal's TikTok account. All right, and so I'm gonna build a bot that can scrape any new TikTok video he posts so we can feed that into make.com and begin our automation. So I'm just gonna go grab his TikTok account URL right here. I'm gonna come back to browse AI and we're gonna build a new robot. All right, and we're gonna build a monitor site changes robot. So essentially anytime that his website, his TikTok account updates or he adds a new video, uh, our bot will monitor for changes, just the new videos, okay? Which is very important. So I'm gonna paste that in here, his URL. And I'm gonna hit start recording task, all right? And that's gonna pop up this window. And if you've seen videos on this channel before, you've seen this. If you haven't, no worries. We're gonna just click this little robot up here. We're gonna go up and capture a list. And then we're gonna scroll down. And what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we grab the list of all the videos right here, just like this. So I'm gonna click. And then I wanna select the text that we wanna capture. So in this example, I want the URL of the video, okay? And with that URL, we're gonna do a lot of cool stuff later where we can actually transcribe it and use OpenAI to create content on Twitter based on that transcription. But to do that, we need to get the actual URL of the video on TikTok so we can download that information in make.com. So to do that, I'm gonna just hover very carefully until I get this right here to pop up, link, comma, title. I'm gonna click and then I'm gonna capture the link. Okay, so we can see what we have. We can either capture the text of the title or the URL of the title. And that's what I wanna capture. I wanna get that link. And once that is done, I'm gonna hit enter. I'm gonna give a name for this link. So it'll just be URL. I'm gonna hit check. Perfect, I'm gonna give it a name. Ollie's TikToks. And you can see I'm pulling in all of his specific URLs for his specific TikTok videos. Okay, now for this example, I just wanna pull in one every time, but you can obviously change this if you need. And then I'm going to make sure that the pagination type is scroll down to load more items. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit capture list, finish recording. Okay, and just like that, we have our new robot, and I'm just gonna name this one new TikToks. Save. Now I'm gonna run this one time every day at 8 a.m. All right, and basically at 8 a.m. every day, this bot is gonna run, monitor Ollie's TikTok page for any new changes. And if there are any, it's gonna pull in the latest URL for me, okay? So that's what this bot is doing. I'm gonna hit save, and that is that. Now, step number two is we need to connect our browse AI bot that we just set up with make.com. All right, so I'm just gonna give this a title here. It's just gonna be TikTok to Twitter automation. And I'm gonna add a module. And the first module I'm gonna add is a browse AI module because again, we want to connect make.com with the bot we just built so we can pull those URLs in and manipulate and use them from within our make.com workspace. So I'm gonna hit browse AI, watch task execution finished, okay? And then I'm going to add a new webhook. Now a webhook is essentially just the bridge, it's the connection between make and browse AI. It's just our link. So I'm gonna come in here and choose our robot. All right, and so I'm gonna do this one that we just set up, new TikToks. 
and then every time that the task finished successfully. So every time our browse AI robot runs at 8 a.m., that task will finish successfully. And then our module here in make.com will pull over that data via this webhook. Okay, so we'll hit okay, just like that. All right, now that we have that set up, let's just run this and make sure that our webhook is actually connected and working. So I'm gonna run this in make right now. Let's see if we can't pull in some data here um, and just make sure that this thing is working. So I'm just gonna manually run a task here. I know we scheduled it, but I'm just gonna manually run this and make sure that we are pulling data actually into make.com. All right, so there's that. And then we'll come back to make and look, perfect. So looks like we are pulling in some data here and we should be all good to go. So we can see we have all these TikToks pulling in right here. Okay, so that is working perfectly. Now, step number three is we need to come to a website called Rapid API and sign up. Now, this is what we're gonna use to actually access the API of TikTok and access Ali Abdal's videos and all the data attached to those videos. So if you don't have an account, sign up for this right now. I'll have this linked down in the description below. Okay, so once you're signed up or logged in, you're gonna come up here and we're gonna search for the TikTok API. All right, and it's gonna be this first one up here, TikTok video, no watermark. So we're gonna click that and we're gonna be brought to this API page right here. Now, very importantly, in order to use this app within Rapid API and connect to the TikTok API, we have to subscribe to test right here with this button. Now this is completely free up to I think 150 calls a month. So we'll be totally fine for this example, but you're gonna actually have to come here and subscribe to this basic plan in order to access it. If you don't do this, you won't be able to make these API calls in the next step. So just come through the process here, subscribe, subscribe. And then once you see this, you should be good to go. All right, now step number four is we need to go back into make.com and actually make an API call by using this beautiful TikTok video, no watermark app right here in Rapid API. Okay, so to do that, we're gonna come back to make, we're gonna add a module, and this module is just called the HTTP module. So search for that, okay, and we're just gonna add that in right here and we're going to make a request, okay? Now all this data you see here that we need to populate in order to make our API call, we're going to get back here with our TikTok API documentation in Rapid API. So the first thing you need to do is you need to come over here to this little box, all right? And we're gonna copy this URL right here, this first URL. We're gonna come back to make into our module and we're gonna paste that URL right here at the top, okay? Keep your method as git. We're gonna add a header, all right? And the header is going to be right here. We're gonna come down to this header section. And I'm gonna copy this right here, X Rapid API key. It's the name of my header. And the value is going to be my API key. Now you don't wanna share this with anybody. And I will be deleting my account after I make this video so you guys can't steal my API key. But you wanna copy that right here in between those apostrophes and paste that in right here like this, okay? And then we're gonna come down to query string. We're gonna add a parameter, and this we're just gonna name URL, okay? And this is going to be the URL of Ali's video that we're pulling in from Browse AI, okay? So we wanna pull in the specific data from one of Ali's videos or the new videos that he has posted. And to do that, we need to actually pull in our URL that we are capturing from Browse AI. So if we come down to captured lists, we can see our Ollie's TikToks list or bot. And there's our URL field right here. So I'm just gonna click that and populate that. And again, that is just this URL right here that we're pulling in from our Ali Abdal Browse AI bot, okay? So name URL, value the actual URL of Ollie's TikTok videos. So you wanna populate that, okay? And then we're just gonna parse the response and we'll hit okay, all right? All right, so let's run this and see if we're actually pulling in this data now from the TikTok API. So we'll hit run, we'll come back to browse, and again, we'll just manually run this and see if everything is working well. All right, perfect, so it looks like it ran, this worked well, and then we can see here from our HTTP module that we are pulling in data right here okay perfect so we can see here's the title of his TikTok, and all this other data that we're going to use here in just a bit okay so this is working perfectly we're pulling in all these TikTok 
video data into make.com. All right, now step number five is we're gonna actually pull in the audio from Ollie's latest TikTok video. And we're gonna take that audio, feed it into OpenAI, which is going to transcribe that audio so that then we can kind of curate a personal post on Twitter using that transcript, okay? So this is really cool to do this. We're gonna add one more HTTP module. Again, we're gonna make a request. And this time the URL we're gonna put in right here is actually the URL of the audio from Ali's latest TikTok video that we pulled in in our first HTTP module. So I'm going to click in here. I can see all the data I'm pulling in from our first HTTP module right here. I'm gonna expand data and I'm gonna come right down here to this music field right here. And you can see we have a URL here where we can access the actual audio from Ali's TikTok. Okay, so that's available via this API. All right, so I'll just click that right here. Okay, so that's, that's our URL. I'm gonna leave this as Git and I'm gonna parse one more time. Okay, and that is that. All right, so again, we're now pulling in the actual audio from that TikTok so that we can then transcribe it in our next step with open API. All right, so let's run this and make sure we are actually able to access that audio by again, one more time, manually running our browse AI bot. Okay, there's that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And we can see here that we are pulling in data. And if you're seeing this weird code down here, that's perfect because that is the actual, some weird download of the audio from Ali's video. So we can now feed this data into OpenAI to transcribe Ali's audio from his video and repurpose that into a really cool Twitter post. So step number six is I'm going to add in an open AI module here, and I'm gonna use create a transcription whisper, okay? And so this is where we can take audio and transcribe it into text, which is exactly what we want. So I'm just gonna click that, and my file name is gonna be just kind of like a placeholder. I'm just gonna use like a variable timestamp.mp3. So every time I pull this in, it has a new um, file name. Okay, so you can really, you can make that anything. Um, and then file data is going to be this weird code that we just got out from our second HTTP module. So our audio data right here with all these weird numbers, okay? So that is our audio that we want transcribed into written text. We're gonna hit okay. All right, so let's run this now again and test and make sure that OpenAI is accurately transcribing all these latest TikTok video. So we'll come back to browse AI. Again, we will manually run this to make sure everything is working. Okay, so that is done. We'll come back to make, and we can see that everything ran successfully. And it looks like right here, we have a transcript from Ollie's latest TikTok video. Uh, and I believe it's this one right here. So if we were to play this and compare it, this is exactly what Ollie says in that video. So we are accurately transcribing Ollie's latest TikTok video with OpenAI. So that is looking good. Now, the next step is we wanna actually add another OpenAI module. This time we're gonna create a completion and we wanna use this OpenAI module to actually write and curate a tweet for us based off that TikTok transcript. So we basically wanna distill that transcript down and summarize it or make a cool Twitter post by using the text in that video, okay? So I'm gonna choose GPT 3.5 Turbo 16K as my model and I'm going to add a message as a user, and then I'm gonna prompt right here. I have a prompt that I'll have down in the description below, but you can make this whatever you want. And it says basically something like, generate an inspiring Twitter post based on this transcript. Rules, use some emojis, use English even if the transcript isn't in English, sound inspiring, focus on simple language, and make sure it is 140 characters or less to fit the tweet threshold, which I think is still in place, but but I want it to be short and sweet. And then transcript, we wanna feed in the transcript that we just created in our last open AI module, which is right here. Okay, so there's the transcript of the video that we just created. I'm just gonna paste it in right here for our second open AI module to generate an inspiring Twitter post based off of. Okay, so that is all good to go. I'll hit okay. And again, I will run this and make sure everything is working. Okay, so that finished. We can see our first OpenAI module is transcribing and now our second one is writing a tweet. And we can see here that everything is looking good. 
and here's our tweet right here. So we have emojis, it's short and sweet, um, and it is uh, about what he says in his video, okay? So perfect, that's what we're gonna tweet. Okay, so the next step now is we need to add in the Twitter module so that we can actually tweet out what OpenAI just curated for us, okay? So let's add in the Twitter module, just like this. I'm just gonna use um, the new Twitter, and I'm gonna hit create a tweet because we wanna post a tweet automatically. Now you want to actually set up your Twitter connection. Now this is a little bit difficult and I'm gonna have a video coming out here in a few days showing exactly how to go into this. I didn't wanna combine that into this video because it's a little bit longer of a process. But be on the lookout for that over the next few days. I will link it right up here once it's out. Um, but you wanna connect to Twitter here, right? And the text content of our tweet is just going to be right here. If we come down to message, and we're just gonna choose this content field right here. We can see this is our emojified tweet that we just created. So let's just add that in here. And then I also just wanna add in the URL of the TikTok video. So if anyone on Twitter sees it and they click on it, we can have like a nice little link back to TikTok if they want, uh, if they wanna watch the video. So I will come all the way down here to our initial browse AI captured list. And I will just grab the URL right here like this, okay? So now the tweet will have the open AI custom curated tweet based off the transcript of his latest video, along with the URL of his latest video in case anybody wants to watch it and we'll hit okay. All right, so that is that. Let us now run one final test to see if we are automatically and successfully repurposing our latest TikTok videos into custom Twitter posts all the way over on Twitter or X or whatever you wanna call it, all right? So we'll hit run once, one more time, and we'll come one more time back here to browse AI and run this task. All right, so there's that. Let's see OpenAI is transcribing, creating our post, and then posting to Twitter. Perfect, so we'll come to Twitter, we'll hit refresh, and beautiful, there is our post right there. Just when I thought it was obvious, my YouTube video on improving typing speed became a hit. Lesson learned, what's obvious to you can inspire others. Share from the heart and watch your content resonate with a link to the TikTok right here. So that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Remember that this Browse AI bot will run every morning at 8 a.m. So this is a completely hands-off automation. You never ever have to check in and, and do anything manual for this. Every time you post a new TikTok, our Browse AI bot will monitor your TikTok page for changes every morning at eight. And every morning at eight, it will tweet out a custom curated post based off the transcript of your latest TikTok video. So if you guys enjoyed this video, get down there and smash that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, consider subscribing, that would be awesome. Thank you guys so, so, so much for all the support that you've given me over the last few months. It really means so much to me. Uh, if you guys have any specific videos that you'd like me to make, or if you're running into any specific problems that you'd like me to help you solve, let me know down in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. Again, thank you guys for being here and I'll see you all on next week's video. Peace.